sounds like you guys were pretty disappointed with their tackling. Yeah, yeah, I, I think the guys were as well. You know, we know we didn't tackle to the level that we need to tackle at. Um, you know, so we spent a lot of time, you know, obviously working tackling, you know, just improving our body position. You know, we talk a lot about tackling with your feet, you know, not lunging. And, and we've been a good tackling team. You know, obviously we didn't tackle as well um, the second game, you know, so we just wanted to make sure we shored that up. How much does, does um, confidence play a role in de on, on defense? I think it plays a, con a role in, in everything we do in life. You know, whether you know, you're working in you know, IBM or whether you're playing f the game of football, you know, confidence is everything. But the way you have confidence is in your preparation. You know, and our guys are preparing and you know, they're excited about their next challenge. What have you learned about the guys that you have after you know, coming back from the, the setback that you had on Saturday? Well, I, I learned that, um, you know, that um, at the end of the day, you know, they're kids that want to get better. You know, they were disappointed in how they play. You know, we're disappointed in how we coach. You know, it, across the board, you know, there's a lot of different things we wish we had done um, to be successful. But at the end of the day, there is no rerun button. All you can do is move forward and get ready for the next one. We coached that guys came in on their own Sunday morning. Yeah, they did. They, they, they really did. You know, those guys were excited about, um, you know, trying to get this last one behind us and move on to the next one. And uh, just preparing. That's really been our motto all this week is just preparing. Preparing to the best of our ability so we can play to the best of our ability. And what happens from there happens. That's how they threw it. They might have thrown it 40 times last week. Is that because they were behind? Is that something they do when they get behind it? Uh, you know, I, I think it's, it's hard to gauge because it's been two different games. You know, one they run it a little bit more than the other, and one they throw it a little bit more than the other. But I think at the end of the day, you know, they want to be able to control the ball, you know, run the ball. Um, you know, again, with the option, it puts a lot of pressure on you. And, um, you know, they're shifting and doing a lot of movements to try to confuse you. So, um, you know, what their game plan will be for us, I would think they'll do what, what comes natural, and that's, you know, running the football. Seems like a simple question. What happened in pass coverage? What happened in today? Well, I, I think, you know, it's some miscommunication on some different things. Um, you know, didn't quite make the plays, obviously, that we wanted to make, you know, but I think it comes down to, again, and, and that's for every snap. Being able to communicate, understand exactly what you're getting on every snap, and, and then execute. You know, really tackle. And, and we've heard that the miscommunication. What happened? When did it happen? How did you? How did oh, you we, we communicate every snap. I mean, whether you can tell or not. You know, you're communicating what the call is. You're communicating what the formation is. You're communicating what the split is. You're communicating what the down and distance is. So there's a lot of verbiage that goes on every snap. And you know, we, to be honest, you just, we just didn't execute to the best of our ability. You know, and and really. Let's be honest, you know, we got to give some credit to the guys that we play. You know, they did a good job, and, you know, they played hard, and they made some plays. You know? It was just a breakdown of what play was going on, and how did you guys fix that during the game? Or what was kind of happening? How do we fix it during the game, or how do we fix it in general? Well, how did you fix it? Did you try to fix it during the game, and how do you fix it going Yeah, I don't think – I think the thing that you got to recognize was it the same mistake over and over, which it wasn't. Mm -hmm. You know, if they made the mistake on one play, you went to another one and got that part of it corrected. But then, obviously, you've seen some other things that come on. So, usually, if it was a mistake, that was addressed, it was corrected, and then, obviously, some other things came forward. So, this week, all we've worked on is just making sure that the kids have enough tools that when they see something occur, that they can fix it on their own. And for the most part, they've done that. Pretty that good. Sense? That's pretty good offense. That you're going against uh, th those guys last Arizona week. Arizona State, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think they were. They sure <laughs> looked like it that night. You know, so uh, again, I, I don't think you're ever as good as, as as you think you are, and I don't think you're ever as bad as you think you are. I mean, that's just the reality. You know, I, I think um, again, Arizona State did a very good job in what they did. Obviously, we didn't play to the level we wanted to play at, and um, you know what happened happened. I know you guys were talking about pass coverage with the linebackers improving them. How do you how do you adjust to that now? How do they need to get better? At it's practice, you know, practice no different than, you know, we're in game two or game three now, you know, and some of those guys were playing, you know, their very first football, you know, and, and playing in a hostile environment, you know, with a what seems to be a pretty good offense, you know, and sometimes things happen. To me, it's always how you react, how you bounce back, and how you get it corrected. And those young guys playing into more playing time? Right? Yeah, they're all going to play. You know, we're staying the course. You know, we're going to stay the course. We're going we're gonna to play who we're playing. And, you know, try to get better. Any of them stuck out? It seems like Mason's played very well. Yeah, Mason's done a nice job. You know, he really has. I mean, he's had some some bumps, just like most freshmen will. Um, but I'm not disappointed, you know, in him. I think he'll, he's had the chance to be a fine player. And um, we, we think as he continues to grow and learn the game and get more snaps under his belt, you know, the sky's the limit. Yeah, no problem. I came late, but Mike said some of the issues with tackling might have been from not running to the ball. Is that what you saw? Or? 
Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm a defensive guy, so I will always say we need to run to the ball harder. I don't, I don't know that I can say that, you know, our effort was lacking, and that I can say that's the reason why. You know, I don't know if that's the case, but I do commend him for saying that because that's the thing that we talk about the most. You know, if we're gang tackling, it covers up a lot of maybe one-on-one -on -one tackling, if, if that makes sense. So we want to get 11 guys to the ball as quickly as possible, and that should alleviate some of the problems. Absolutely. I mean, so with the tackling, I mean, I mean, what, what would you attribute the problems with the tackling? Well, body position, you know, body position, making sure, you know, it's just basic fundamental tackling. You know, you, you try to, you know, most good teams try to get you out in space, you know, so you have to have a lot of room to be able to try to grab guys. And, you know, when it's a lot of space out there, you got to make sure you're moving your feet and not just reaching with your hands. When, I mean, when you see something like that in the game, I mean, as a coach, I mean, what are you, what are you trying to do to try to improve the tackling on the fly like that? Preach your fundamentals, yeah. you know, because it's not anything – um, that you haven't practiced or worked on, you just got to remind the kids on what got them to that point.